the object-based firewall is one of the renowned features of Jacker Router. First, we would like to introduce how you use the object-based firewall to divide your work groups. Below is a basic scenario. You may have a Vega 2030 security firewall for the ADS022 plus internet fit. For your company, which includes sales department, finance department, logistic department, and production department. Also, they may have the sub workers in each department. For example, you may have the sales for the VSB business, sales for the small business, sales for the mid-size business, and the sales for the enterprise. How you divide several work groups for different objects in order to apply the different firewall rule? You can use the object setting and then you use the IP object. We know each PC user will have the different IP address, so you can use those different IP address to create IP object. In this IP chart, you can see we use the different IP address to separate different work groups. For example, the sales VSB team, they got the start IP address as 192.168.40.5, all the way to point 10. So this can be one IP object, and I just simply name a sales VSB. So by the same token, I can use the different star IP address and N IP address to create different IP objects for each work groups. So following my introduction, you can use the Vega 20EA30 series to create the IP object as the showing right here. Then I would like to regroup these different work groups to IP groups such as sales department and non-sales. Generally speaking, NIS do not want to create so complicated firewall rule. So they may separate the employee for sales people and non-sales people. So we can use the IP group to regroup those different work groups. So you will have two kinds of firewall later, one for sales, another for non-sales. In addition to the IP object, I would also like to introduce some easy to use objects to you right here. One is the keyword object. For example, you can create one keyword object named as sports, and you can include up to three sub keywords. For example, in my sports profile, I can include basketball, baseball, and golf. So I later can use this to create a firewall rule to prevent my employee watching the sports game during the working hour. Also, I can use the fire extension object to create some object to prevent they use the certain fire extension to do something we can say illegal to do during the working hour. For example, watching video. So I can create one file extension object. I just name it as video. When I finish the rules for my object-based firewall, such as the IP object, keyword object, and file extension object, I right now can use the content security management to create more comprehensive object to have the highly productive work environment. So in the content security management section, I will first use the app enforcement profile to create rules for non-sales people and the sales people. In the app enforcement profile, you can find you can do the configuration for the instant message, peer-to-peer, and also you can plug in to use some web hardy or some uh, P2P streaming. It's nice to use. So, in my experience, I won't let those non-sales people to use instant message, but I still authorize sales people to use instant message to ease their communication for the outside world, especially some customer don't like to do email or the telephone call, but just like use the instant message to chat with the sales people. Also. 
the URL content filter will be following the app default. I can enable my setting first in the QR object for the sports and the file extension object in the video by the URL content filter profile. After the app enforcement and the URL content filter profile, I would like to introduce web content filter profile. We will strongly recommend you use our Contouch Goverview WCF. By the way, it's a new license fee. So you will have the 30 day free trial and then you need to pay the new license fee. It precludes many kinds of web content and you only need to do the check the box and then you can create your firewall rule for the non sales people and the sales people. After complete the object based firewall setting, including the content security management part, I can go to the firewall and first choose the filter setup to enable my data filter and then go to the firewall general setup to enable my data filter to complete the firewall rule setting. So right now, the office has a highly productive environment by our object-based firewall plus content security manager.